In our last Star Sector Super Modus video, we found a blueprint to a ship of tremendous power. This bad boy is an Eclipse 2 class dreadnought, containing fear inducing amount of firepower, 28 small energy slots, 42 medium energy slots, flux so you can fire them all day, while costing a measly 120 points to deploy. So much might in this ship, but what your enemies will fear the most is something more sinister. In the front, the ship contains a super weapon, a laser capable of annihilating anything that comes in its way. How much damage do you ask? Well, if I can read it correctly, 121,998 packs a punch, doesn't it? I don't have to tell you that this ship is incredibly strong and powerful and it also has a little brother but really it isn't that little it is just a bit weaker version of the other ship but come on what do you consider weak really both of these ships are just a menace the super weapon will one shot the ships it just one shot 60 point ship paragon basically anything this ship will go against like vanilla or other mods will be just one shotted not only that as both of these ships have incredible amount of flux and flux dissipation they are ridiculously tanky they can sustain incredible amount of firepower but shockingly this doesn't end here i found more broken stuff because look this star wars mod has incredible amount of ships i played with many of these ships and i wanted to try what they are all about and yes as you have guessed the more bigger the ship goes the more overpowered it gets and this mod has so many ships that actually even between each other those ships are quite unbalanced and of course it was hunt for the most overpowered ship and i must say it surprised me quite heavily i thought about one ship that it should be op but i gave a try a smaller ship and Damn, that thing is insane. But for now, let's look at another big ship, Executor class. Look at this, this ship has just incredible amount of firepower because of the amount of slot it has. That's why I can't wait, the F11 won't show the actual circles because oh my god, if you have so many, look at this, it's circle, 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 circle. 52 medium energy slots, 40 small energy slots, 12 missile, small and 5 fighter base. But the Executor cannot compete with the Eclipse. For one sole reason, and you guessed it right, the super weapon. Because look at what it does, the shields are overloaded already. Now the blasters will do their work and cut it down. Poor ship doesn't stand a chance. And soon the laser recharges and we can fire again. But things are never that simple, are they? All depends how you build them. To get somewhat balanced overview, I always use the out of it preset. This one. And also slapping on some necessary mods. But then again, what if we don't? What if we start using something stronger? Something that packs serious punch. Ship is gone? What about the same size ship? Oh no, it does a lot of damage, doesn't it? Yes indeed, because it just depends. Sometimes... It's just too strong. At the end, I don't think you can get these guns in a normal gameplay. But if you build smartly, you can also find weapons that are not so OP, but like... <laughs> they get the things done? You can definitely build these Star Wars ships better. These ships are not super fast, but... Like, aha! <laughs> Build them a bit differently, right? With other modded weapons. And uh, yes, uh, indeed, the other ship has no bloody chance. I really want to try this. <laughs> You know this gun? It's a vanilla weapon. Nah, that's too good. That's so amazing. Poor ship is getting surrounded. Oh no, what are you going to do while you start firing? Oh, that's so cool. Oh my... <laughs> That's a bomb button right there! Get ready! <laughs> and by the way, 100 point chips, so nothing crazy. I cannot help this, boys and girls. Like, of course, this mod is in balance, but look at this. Like, you will have so much fun with it. Also, some ships in this mod, for some reason, don't take nearly any damage. What is wrong with this battleship? Look at this. Not like it has even red firepower. It's just basically immortal. Of course, this is the Mon Calamari Star Defender. If you thought only Empire had OP ships that... 
Yeah, it doesn't get one-shotted. And I have my doubts that this battle you see right here is between two beautiful ships. Could last forever because this thing doesn't just... <gasps> Maybe. Maybe I made it. The only thing that that thing needs to do is flux. To royally screw me over right now. But at the end, yes, I can get through those shields and just blast him because yeah, that laser is OP. Firstly, I have to tell you one thing. Not like I'm not having fun. And I don't think this mod is bad, but you really cannot use the other stuff. This mod is something like you will download it once, you will play with it, you will play with mostly Star Warship, you will have an absolute blast, and when you are done and ready to play normal game, you will take this mod out and play the other stuff. It is clear that enormous amount of effort went into this mod. The problem really is when you want to play normally modded, you cannot use this mod because it's so OP. This actually makes me a bit sad because I would love to have it around, but in the future I cannot. At the end the ships are too broken and the other stuff as well. And we haven't even gotten to the strongest ships I will show you later in this video. One more thing, there's too many factions. At the end I hope, as I would love to have it in my games, I only can see this mod getting regularly used if it would be shrunken down. One faction, for example Imperium, heavily focus on the balance, don't make the colonies too large so the export is super crazy. But at the end I think it's too much to ask, too much work and the mod is awesome if you only want to play with the Star Wars ships. I find myself also one of the strongest 40 point ships. I even equipped it with autofill so I didn't choose the weapons. I personally really enjoy the aesthetic of the laser and this 40 point ship <laughs> has insane amount of firepower as well like oh my god it's the black sun battleship like compared to the victory class which is one of my favorite battleships or the enlightenment but now we are looking at the most overpowered ships so at the end we won't be looking into these although they are really one of my favorites in a normal playthrough but don't worry i will be definitely talking about them in the future guess what's the special ability is you want because you never seen it you press f <laughs> you spawn two ships. How cool is that? Two defensive ships. That's so amazing. These two little buggers brought so much happiness into my life because I never knew I wanted something like this. And before we get to the two super OP ships, I wanted to show you one more thing that is broken of this mod. And those are the hull mods. Nearly every single one of them is absolutely crazy. Kyber crystals. Increase damage dealt by energy weapons by 15. And range by 20. More range, meaning you will outrage everything. Tibana gas coolant. 500 flux dissipation and red assist weapon flux generation by 25 percent outrageous class one hyperdrive reduces fuel use by 25 percent and increases maximum burn speed by two no disadvantage by the way it doesn't even cost that much best car armor plating battle droids <sighs> okay now let's talk about the most OP ships I have seen. This, what you see on the screen, is an enormous ship. You could see this ship from the Star Wars movies, especially the worst one yet, the eighth one. But it doesn't hurt the epicness of it. It has some impressive firepower. 12 small missile slots, 18 small energy, 20 medium energy slots, and 6 fighter bays. Firstly, it doesn't sound that much because it has another 20 weapons embedded inside. And those are 20 long-range heavy turbo lasers. You know those? I showed them before in the video but i don't think without cheating you can get them on any other ship they were made for this ship they don't use any flux they have a range of 1500 while dealing 1700 damage per hit with a perfect accuracy and this is why it's absurdly strong the firepower isn't flashy it isn't even some absurd burst of damage but it is a continuous onslaught of these lasers that will outrage everything and slowly chip away on its enemies but again still Chipping away means, uh, if they hit all at once, it is a bad day. One thing you could have noticed is that this ship isn't alone. And no, I didn't use more ships. If you deploy yourself in the battle, <laughs> you spawn with two more battleships. Without even firing my weapons and using any of the guns of the big ships, they can take care of things themselves and obliterate anything in front of them. By the way, I'm sorry Maelstrom, I'm using you quite often. The ship is so large when you actually want to equip it with weapons. Yes, uh, it is really hard to get the stuff on the wings uh, because it's really small. And also you can make your own changes to make this ship more cool, to give it even more firepower. And I don't even think the small ships counter this ship because the support Supporting battleships will tear a new one to any small ship. But there is one ship that I consider stronger than this one occasionally. But how do I compare you? Well, beforehand, I made a video about over 
powered ships, Palagornis and Nagato. Palagornis is this enormous carrier, which has 20 fighter slots. It is the ultimate carrier. Normal ships with many of its builds never stood a chance. And now when you pair it against Star Wars ships, well, some of the matchups can be favorable for these ships. For our old kings, it will take a long time to defeat those ships. And you have to use some of the strategy, because the enemies are usually very tanky, and even if it's the best equipment, it will take a long time to take them down. Palagornis has to get close and personal, however, because the fighters alone would never punch through the ships, and would get eaten by the blast of fire. Nagato, this is a wonderful battleship, just look at the firepower, hear it with your ears. Nagato is my favorite, and this ship is a beast. With incredible range and firepower, it has pretty much no match. At least before I added the Star Wars mod. And mind you, this thing is already absolutely broken. And if you don't want to break your game, you cannot really use it. Only for fun. But fun is good. You will win with Nagato against more Star Wars ships. Mostly because the enemies don't build right and then don't have the range to shoot back. So mostly this thing will shoot and shoot and shoot for a long time before it takes the enemy down. And I mean, it uses 10 thousand flux per second. The other advantage it has is the mobility, because the other Star Wars ships are usually ridiculously slow. Both of these ships cost 200 points to deploy, Mega Class cost 150, while sometimes fully pimped out Nagato with the General could theoretically even defeat the Mega Class by slowly defeating the two supporting battleships. Again still, wonderful sight, one is down. As they are taken down, you can take on the Mega Class. And that is only because this ship probably doesn't have right now equipped the range mods. Therefore, I could outrange it. If this thing would have a range, I would be in trouble. But on paper, this thing should never be outranged. And it also looks quite epic when you travel around the space. Look at the size. Look at it. This is a big ship, this ship, small ship. Look at the size. But yes, getting behind the ship is kind of problematic for the ship. And face ships, as always, reign supreme. But oh my god. Have you noticed one thing? Yes, this thing has ridiculous shields. So yeah, uh, look at it. We are not doing anything. And this is one thing to take into consideration when playing with these huge ships. You need absurd amount of firepower. Even though he won't do anything to me, I won't do anything to him. But there is one ship that Nagato stands no chance again. Even when using good tactics. Whoa! And will never outrange. And if it gets hit unluckily. It will suffer. Let me introduce you to the strongest ship in the Star Wars mod, in my opinion. At the end, it doesn't have a lot, but it has these two embedded weapons. The orbital auto cannons. Pew pew! Pew! Why do I think this thing is so overpowered? Well, basically it costs 65 points to deploy. It has only 26 more energy weapons and 4 fighter base. Nothing else, you cannot get really creative. But it does have 2 orbital autocannons. And these guns are absolutely broken. 1500 range. This means that this ship will outrange anything in this game. These weapons basically don't use flux. And a single ray deals 10 Thousand damage. In theory, the Eclipse class could be strong as this ship because it has the super weapon plus other assortment of incredible weapon. But the laser is overkill. And the Mandator class with those two orbital auto cannons just deals enough damage to obliterate everything, but not overkill it, so it can shoot faster and obliterate more things. I have to, however, admit this thing has one weakness, and those are small things because the lasers get eaten by up by them. But if they don't, yes, the ship won't have fun. And gets one-shotted. And look at the range. And again, from a distance, we will chip away until it's done. Or other modded ships, just no. They just don't hold up. Nagato cannot defeat the ship. Palagornis can, because the fighters will eat those lasers. If it would cause us Mega Class, I would consider Mega Class more OP. But we need to realize one thing. This thing costs only 5 points more 
than Paragon. You can field multiple of these ships. And I'm actually sad that these things are so strong. It makes a good video, but I cannot use it in my future modded playthroughs because the mod is just so broken. Sometimes mods in Star Sector feel samey and this doesn't fall into the trap. It is super unique and super fun. I would love to have these ships in my playthroughs if they were balanced, but in my opinion it would take so much work and probably isn't possible. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.